Good morning guys, Andy Forestine Runner here and it is the day of the Seven Bridge Half Marathon. I am so excited as you can probably tell, it's quarter past seven. We got to get there for probably around eight o'clock, that gives us an hour from there to the start. Got to drop the bag off, it's about a mile walk from the start onto the bridge to where it starts. One of the best starting locations for any race and today the goal is to run a strong race just to run a strong race no particular time because it's not a pb course it's some decent elevation checked a few strava accounts ranges from 700 to 900 foot so it's somewhere in and around that region um so it's going to be similar to the hereford half marathon it will just be about running a strong and solid race i can't wait we got to get going let's crack on Alright guys, you're going in the bag. I will see you next time on the other side. Can't wait. Let's go. Right guys, race done. Beautiful medal, absolutely brilliant. Um, had to get back to the car, it is so cold. I thought I was gonna catch a chill. I've got three lay clean layers on dry, which are now wet from being out there. Um, and I have just, I think, run the race of my life. I'm over the moon, 120 and 40 seconds. A 120, that was a goal at the beginning of the year I set myself and I've just gone and run it on a course like this, which is not flat, so, I'm kind of over the moon. I don't know really what happened. I just felt good. I tapered well. I ate right this week. I lost the holiday weight and just felt really good. Let me just swap hands and then I'll explain. So we started off, um, it is pouring with rain at the moment and it has been all morning. So it's not ideal conditions. The wind wasn't too bad. And we started off, hold on, my hands are slippery. And we started off, um, and I went out about 6.10 pace and I stuck with it and I stuck with it and at about mile 7 there's this hill. Uh, basically for the first two miles it's relatively average downhill then from 2.5 up to 7 it's kind of undulating slash uphill and from mile 6.5 to 7 there is a, a big hill and um, I was I, st I started the descent uh, the ascent of this hill with two other chaps and we were going for it and they just went ahead and I really struggled I really flagged I clocked a 650 up there I was on my tiptoes and I was so close to stopping and I saw the top and I carried on and uh, I kind of got to the top 
and I started going down the other side and then it's three miles downhill and uh, I just got the second wind and I passed the two chaps that uh, had passed me going up the hill and I was clocking 550s. Uh, I'll put the splits on, uh, on screen and I kind of got to the bottom of the bridge which is about 10 and a half miles and I saw the time and I just, for the 10 mile split, I'd gone just over the hour mark and I thought it's do or die now, it's do or die, you've got to go for it you know you race can i sometimes race conservatively sometimes i race all out and today with the way it was going i just had to go all out so i just went for it went for it and uh stuck with it stuck with the pace finished strong which is all i wanted to do in these conditions and i have come away with the best result I could have hoped for. I'm absolutely over the moon. But anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it there because at the moment I am so cold. I need to go home, have a hot bath, eat a load of food and enjoy and celebrate. So anyway, if you enjoyed this video, guys, please do give it a like, share it with friends, subscribe to the channel for weekly running content. I will see you next time. Until then.